We are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Oh, Run that thing, <laughs> Are you mad? Oh, oh man. Behave before you talk about yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. This kind of takes us to our next trailer reaction, man. This um, movie is directed by Michael Mann, the director of Heat, I believe. Yeah. That Michael Mann. Yeah, that Michael Mann. Collateral. That Michael Mann. Wait, yeah. Miami Vice. That yep. guy. Yep. That guy. <laughs> he directed this movie called Ferrari. We're about to watch the trailer right now. You, man. Buckle up. That's some driver, baby. Woo! Carves, you get in the win. Jesus! Yo, run it back, man. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Wow, this is a trailer. Bro, this is a trailer. I just didn't think I'm gonna break anything like that. I was gonna say, this is the definition from zero to 100, bro. Bro! <laughs> bro, I can, I can feel it, bro. There you go. There you go. Zero to one hundred, bro. Oh, look at this one. Look at this of my carves, you get in the win. Oh, man. Where's they going to get this man from? <laughs> bro, yeah, I have so many emotions with this guy, bro. Like, it's, it's so much. You see the bit with his wife here, Penelope Cruz? You know where that took me? Or is it the, the divorce? No. Is it this, no. The one with uh, him and uh, Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, marriage, Sutton Marriage. What's it called? Marriage, Sutton Marriage. Bro, when they when they're arguing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, bro, that see that that scene right there of Adam Driver stuck with me forever, bro. Like and and this whole vo Italian look, white hair. This one was like, yo, don't talk, don't talk, bro, don't talk. Cause I know spaz, bro. I know, I know, I know he's gonna go mental in this thing, bro. Like with Italian attitude. I love it, bro. Oh, my days. Adam Driver. Come Adam on. Driver's the hardest, bro. Yeah. Adam Driver's probably got to be one of the hardest working actors today who's, like, consistently shelling. And it's like, what this reminded me of is him in um, House of Gucci, like, a, almost like an older person. Obviously, I know these are both real characters, but he feels like an almost older version of that. I love that they've done it. And I was feeling Oppenheimer as I'm watching this trailer, you know, in terms of just, the, like, how quiet it is, how subdued he is. But what you're talking about, about it going from zero to 100 in 60... I love that, bro, because that's legitly what's happening. And mm. 
you can just feel him in it. And that's one of the things that I love about Adam Driver. Like, even when you talk about Star Wars, bro, like, he brings, like, He's a... a bro, bro, he brings a energy and a charisma and just a level of acting that just, I think, just makes everyone better. Bro. Mm. Like, he goes so hard, bro. And then banging him in there with uh, Penelope Cruz, I think it's tough. And then Shailene Woodley, I know you was talking about. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I was like, who? Where is she? Bro. She's in. Shane, Shailene Woodley. She was in some YA movies way back yeah, when. Divergent series. She was in those. Then disappeared. Mm. Then, I would, I, I would say disappeared, but I wasn't following her until I watched this movie, A Time to Kill, with her, Ben Mendelsohn, and what's my man's name? I am being disrespectful right now. Um, but yeah, that, that movie... Goes hard. It came out. It kind of came out earlier this year as well. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like 2023 is Shailene Woodley saying, "Hey, hey guys, mm. I'm still around. Mm. I'm back." Do you know what I'm saying? And I hope she's good in this. She was good in that. I'm gonna get it. The time to kill. And do you know what's crazy about this? This is in my top ten movies of the year so far right now. Time to kill. A time to kill. Yeah, I've currently got it at number five, and it's also wow. got. Joe Van Adipo. Look at some yeah. terrible. The brother from Babylon, the brother from um, Overlord. He's in Mother as well. Oh. And Fences, bruv. Like, he's, he's the reason I watched the movie. Mm-hmm. He's the reason I watched the movie. He ain't got, like, the largest. He's, like, a supporting character in it. Mm. But he's, he goes hard in it. She goes super hard in it. And, like I said, uh, Ben Mendelsohn, who is just in uh, Secret. Secret Invasion, is in it as well, man. So... Ferrari and and this is coming out this year. Listen, I love I love this whole I love this whole. Hey, we're dropping the trailer. And we're coming out two months later. Mm. I love that. I love it, bro. Because I think there's a certain type of movie that that works for, and I think this kind of movie is that. Do you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, bro, we don't need a year to prepare mm, yeah. for Ferrari. Mm. We need you to say, oh look, at the end of one day when there's an F1 event, we need a trailer to drop, boom, yeah. and then two months, a week before. The Grand Prix, we need the movie to drop. <laughs> Boom. Hey, you man, there you yeah. go. Take it. That I, that's all we really need from these kind of movies. And then, super dramatic, drop it, what, Christmas, try and make it into the Oscars. I know Oppenheimer's shelling everything, so you ain't going to get a look in. But at the same time, <laughs> be, you, know, just get a, you just need a nomination. <laughs> then you're nom- Oscar nominated. Because this year's going to be heavy for the Oscars for sure, bro. Barbie, Oppenheimer, freaking, uh, there's lots yeah, of Yeah, you things. know Barbie's taking side, yeah. bro. That's what I'm Something. Saying, bro. Barbie's taking, Something. Barbie's taking uh, a couple of dolls home for sure, yeah, bro. bro. So it's going to be crazy, but I'm liking to look at this. I like, always like my driving movies. Like, I would almost even put this in the same stratosphere as Rush. Oh, Rick, bro, you ain't even seen it. I know, yet. But, I know. I, I, but we, we want the levels. Yeah, we the want level. those levels. Those but, levels have got to be there. Because, yeah, we were speaking about Michael Mann before. We was like, man's got some banging movies. But the hardest, He's bro. got some stinkers as well. It's like, how does that happen? So I'm glad that they put a writer and him. So hopefully, I'm going to look my man up. And say, if he's got some good writing credits for a good movie, mm-hmm. hopefully Michael Mann can just focus on directing. Because... Like I said, he's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Collateral. Even um, the other movie they mentioned as well. The Mohicans. Yeah, I was like, that movie's good as well. So I was like, he's like, he's for me, he's probably looking at maybe 70, 30 at this point in time with his movies. To be, see, for me, when I, when I think about Michael Mann, I give him a blight because of how good his movies are yeah. compared to the dead ones. Okay. Like, there's some directors, it's like, their best movies are seven and their worst movies are, are four. Mm. And it's like, mm. okay, yeah. but Michael Mann, when he really? hits, bro, saw... they're 10, bro. Yeah. They're 10. Like... So when he's putting a dud out or something that I just don't particularly love, it's not ever terrible. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like, oh, bro, you gave man heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he gets held by his own standard, bro, mm. because of what he's done. So it's one of those ones where I wouldn't say he's transcended into like the best, best yeah, directors yeah. right now. But his name's still he's, there. He's, he's, he shows, bro. Mm. So, I'm, bro, I'm glad they're getting this in heat, bro. I, watch, bro. Sure, I feel sure. like I watch heat every year, bro. I, might, mm. I think I might have watched heat twice this year, bro. Isn't just, it? Bro, just because of, bro. I Gino, love heat, bro. bro. Them, their yeah, dynamics too. crazy in that, bro. For me, f- favourite high speed of all time. Like I said, them two. Just the just position of cop versus villain. That, oh, uh, man, bro, I, see, uh, bro, I, lo- I love <laughs> movies, yeah, when the nemesis, like communicate and that's why I when, they, com- as well. when they communicate yeah. loads bro <laughs> when it's like yo fam like this is what it like I, listen I I kind of I think I need a nemesis like, yeah. like, like bro like we ain't but we ain't you know what I'm saying bro like 
We gotta make it yeah. work somehow. We both we both gotta win, but one's gotta lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, fam. And that's no, why man. I love Claire all the same time where like these guys are literally gone on an adventure together, learning each other, but it's like at the end of the day, one of us has gotta lose. Yeah. And the way it's the villain goes out at the same time is like you underestimate like your protagonist. Yeah. And the way the protagonist comes out on top of like, I don't know how Michael Manning even pulls it off, but I hope it's the same thing here where I don't know if Ferrari's going to be the, the villain or the protagonist, and he got some like some, some kind of nemesis against him. Maybe it might be Ferrari. Mm. I mean, Ford, sorry. Mm. But we're seeing the opposite side of Ford versus Ferrari, because that got that, changed. See, that would be sick, but do you know what I would love? I would love if this is all only about Ferrari cars. Yeah, that's cool. Like, well, if, if it's inside. a... Yeah, so it's like, there's an internal thing mm. with him, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, go, like, just... Obviously, he's having these family dramas, but something in Ferrari, between Ferrari, is is going, yeah, Yeah. like, oh, we're not going to sell these parts, or, Mm. nah, your car's not hitting the spec, or Mm. something like that. And him having to go against the governing boards, or having to move country, or having to do this, having Mm. to do backdoor deals, like, I really want to see the nitty-gritty side of it, bro, and the business side of it. And I feel like I've been on this this year, but with Blackberry, with Tetris, I'm going to keep bringing up these movies, bro, because I think all of these movies still kind of fall in line with what, we're getting here, like mm-hmm. showing the family dynamic and then showing how business, how business is done anyway. Let mm-hmm. me just put it like that. You get me the good side or the bad side. Mm. Bruv, what are you, what are you saying? Bruv, in terms of Michael, man, uh, my, my, Miami Vice, you know, I've been, I've been, I stay, you know what it is with Miami Vice, yeah? It's just the way it's shot. Mm-hmm. It's dumb hard. And the thing is, you got the, the, the characters that goes with it, but, it's just the feel of Miami Vice for me. Like, I don't think there is many movies out there, not that I've seen, that kind of falls into that category, the way things are shot, the way they are, it's done, like, the grittiness of it. Do you mm. know what I mean? So, and then when it comes to racing movies, I'm all over it. So, Adam Driver, the racing movie, Italian. Yeah, the sauce, the, the Italian sauce is mad right now. Michael Mann's got it down when it comes to greatness, for sure. Yeah, bro. When you look at Collateral, bro, that thing, bro, film <laughs> brain gone crazy, fam. <laughs> <laughs> like your bro, you're in it, bro. You're in it, fam, and I love that look. Jamie Foxx is in Collateral. Bro, yeah. wake up, man. Jamie Foxx is also in a, in, in a thing. Bro, like, it's just, it's just the, this is what you man was talking about. Two, two characters, two, two characters. He knows how to put it down, bro. He knows oh. how to put it down. Oh.